Do you need to configure a RHEL 8 system to boot to the graphical user interface? Well, I'm Don Pizzette, and this is a quick bite from IT Pro TV. Getting our RHEL 8 system to boot into the graphical user interface is actually done with just a couple of easy commands. You can see my box is booted straight to the command line, and I've got that tiny font that's so frustrating to work with. I'm ready to switch over to the GUI. So what I need to do is, well, the first thing I need to do is zoom in a bit so I can actually read what this is saying, and I'm going to get logged into my system. So I'll punch in my credentials and get logged in. Once I'm there, what I want to do is change the default boot environment. And we do that by issuing sudo systemctl set-default and then specify what environment we want. I want the graphical.target. And once we punch that in, so graphical.target is the environment that I'm asking for, when I press enter, that's going to change that default. And you'll see a message about it updating some symlinks. We can verify that it worked by issuing sudo systemctl get-default, and we should see it return that graphical.target is now our default. Once that's done, we can issue sudo systemctl reboot, and our system is going to reboot and load into the graphical user interface. So there my system goes rebooting, I get my message, and I'm gonna see it come up. If you have Lux encryption on, you'll have to punch in that password, and then afterwards, you'll be able to see the full window manager to load the GNOME environment, or whichever window environment you've set as your default. So I'm just gonna clear past that, and then as soon as it gets by there, we'll move into our graphical user interface. All right, well, in this quick bite, we had a chance to see how to configure our system to boot to a graphical user interface. If you want to learn more, be sure to check out our website over at itpro.tv. I'm Don Pazette, and this has been an IT Pro TV Quick Bite.